Got a couple things on the menu today. We're in Monterey and we're gonna catch some squid. After we catch the squid, we're gonna bring it to the restaurant in San Francisco and they're gonna either cook up the squid or if we can catch a halibut with the squid, they'll cook that up too. Now I've got a very special guest, the most special guest that I've ever had on this boat or in a video, my, my wife. So we're both gonna catch some squid together and then we're gonna head over to the restaurant later on. So let's get some squid, hopefully they're still here. I love this little bait tank here. So how this works, it's got a one-way valve and this plugs in just pressure fitted to the bottom of the bait tank. And now we got fresh water pumping into the bait tank and we use this big pipe here. This is the outlet. We just put it in here, pressure fitted as well, put it over the edge. Once it gets to this certain level, all that water will come out. So the goal is we're gonna keep some squid live. That's what we're gonna use as bait later. After that, we got a bunch of ice in here. We're gonna throw the squid in there and then keep them fresh, as fresh as can be. So to the left, to the red can. How we're gonna target these squid is with some squid rigs. We got one here and they're kind of like a sabiki, except they don't have any barbs on them. And these glow in the dark. So just staying out here in the sun for a couple minutes, it's gonna be enough to charge them up. Charge them up, drop them down. And we're looking for what looks to be interference on the fish finder. So I'm gonna get these rigged up. These are sharp, sharp as a hook, but no barbs. So probably four to six ounce weight will be heavy enough to get it down there. We can feel if there's any weight on the squid rig. And if there is, we'll reel them up, drop them in the live well. Looks like a nice little patch of them all the way at the bottom. I'm gonna drop down and try to get them. Looks like some stuff on the fish finder here, 150 feet. Hard to feel that weight though. I think we found them. I think we found them. I think I got a couple. Come on, baby. We got squid. First time getting squid. Woo! Wow. Two of them. All right. Look at those. Throw in the bait tank. Oh, this one just inking all over. Finally, man, we've been working at this for like a, man, a long time. We finally found them, 100 feet. I'm gonna back up over them. Okay, now stop it at 100. A little bit more. Yep, okay, good. Now just bring, put the rod down a little. And then once you feel it get tight, it get a little bit heavy. They'll latch on, jig up slowly. And once it gets a little bit heavy, reel it a little bit more. Once you feel a little latch, then start reeling, don't stop. Yeah? yeah so. Got some? A little heavy? A little bit. Aha, we got them finally, man, finally. We've been looking at for them for like an hour. All right, so a little trial and error. First time going for squid. Let's get these guys up. <laughs> don't tell me you, you don't have anything though. Oh, nice, bring it over here, bring it over here. Ah, oh! <laughs> there he is. Get over here, Squidward. Get in the bait tank. We found him, Sarah. We're gonna have some fresh squid today. We got squid. Ah! <laughs> All right, nice. Squid, throw them in there. Look at that little squid, that's beautiful. Another one? Look, look at it changing colors too. Look at that, put him upside down, he turns white. Now turn him back on his side, all that pigment comes right back. What an amazing creature. We're gonna keep him alive, try to go for some halibut too if we have time. So the drift is really strong right now. I've got a six ounce weight here, which is kind of strong and it's not staying vertical at all. So every once in a while, I'm backing it down, putting it in reverse. Now I can see the squid there between, well, right near the surface too, actually. 100 feet up to 20 feet. So I'm down, I'm gonna go down to 100 and do a slow jig up and then a slow jig down. Put it back into neutral, slow jig up. Slow jig down, and now this is the drift that we just did, so we're gonna drift right back over them eventually if we don't have them right now. So I'm gonna get down to the spot, and my friend Carlos was telling me they really like that glow. So if you could charge one up, by the time it gets down there, they're, they're really attracted to that. And with this heavy rod, this is a Shimano Travella medium light, but it's still pretty heavy. So it's a little bit difficult to feel that bite when they latch on like that, but when you do, it's obvious, it'll be just a little bit more heavy than it is with just the weight. All right, there, there's a few. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna, ooh, there's a bunch of them. Sarah, you ready to get these off? 
Well, you're gonna have to. There's probably at least three or four. These squids, they just look so cool and I've never tried them fresh either. Three. All right, grab one. Yep, lift it up. Next. Next. All right, got three of them. Yay! So cool, you just, you just feel that line go tight and it's like you're reeling in a big piece of seaweed. Looks like we're gonna be having squid today. Later, after we drive back to San Francisco, we're going to Mission Rock in San Francisco. Never eaten there before. They've got squid, all types of seafood. So we're gonna see, they're probably gonna do some calamari, fried, I don't know what else they can do, but I'm sure they specialize in this stuff. Woo! This is a nice one. Yep, yep. nice, two, nice. Oh, oh they're squirting me. Yeah. Oh, he inked me, he inked me. In there. I was talking to Fishing 24-7 the other day and talking to him about squidding, and he said he eats the entire thing. Guts, ink, and everything. I kind of want to try that. And you know they make squid ink pasta, so it must taste good. He said it tastes sweet. Uh, the wind is just too strong right now. I think we're going to call it. I think we've got enough for our meal. Take a look at these things though, squirting all over the place. But look at this thing, like look, look at the color on it. His tentacles are changing colors. If I turn him upside down, he changes colors again. He turns white, turn him back around. He turns back and he starts pulsating. Like it's just, look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is just amazing. Turn around, turns white again. So cool. All right, we're gonna bring this to the restaurant. We've got enough for a meal. I don't know how they're going to cook it at Mission Rock, but I want to actually taste his little fin here, even if he's alive. I don't think he's going to feel this. Not bad. Let's see how it is cooked. Do an ice bath with this guy. Bunch of water. Ice. Keep these squid fresh all the way. And I'm trying to keep a couple live. See if they could do something with them live. Just going to dump a bunch of them in the ice here. Oh, he's inking it up in there. All right, about eight squid on ice, probably about five more in the bucket. Head back to shore, head back to San Francisco now. This is Nick, the owner of Mission Rock. What's up, man? Awesome. Nice to meet you. You too, man. All right, got some go. ice here. We're gonna load up the squid, Let's see what we got. They've been in this cold ice for a while, so pretty sure that they're all I think they're dead. I don't think they're going to come back back to life. It's wiggling a little bit. I think that's all for the those whew, those dead ones. But then got a couple here that are still alive. You barely feel them. But yeah, that, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that change colors. Wow. Turn it upside down. He's trying to squirt. That's awesome. Wow. Amazing, right? Yeah, I'll follow you in. Let's do it. Cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it really is waterfront, huh? Yeah, totally. Welcome to the rock, man. Thank you. So this is Pete, Nick's brother, two owners of Mission Rock. Is that correct? Is this a family thing? Family, family business, business, man, yeah. Yep. Nice. Okay, yeah. so we're going to do some squid, a couple of dishes, right? What are we going to do? Yeah, so uh, we're going to do Frito Miso, which is a dish we have on our menu. We're going to um, take these beautiful squid that you just caught, and we're going to fry them up with some jalapeno, zucchini, some fennel, a little bit of carrot. Serve with some remoulade and some cocktail sauce. Nice. Uh, we're gonna put these in our chipino, another one of our signature dishes, and then we're just gonna do some really simple grilled squid okay. uh, with a little salsa verde and maybe a farro salad. Okay, so some grilled squid. That's something that a lot of people who are watching now could probably do. Would you Absolutely. say that's one of the easier dishes? Yeah, super easy to do. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just walk you through how to clean them too real quick. Yeah, Very yeah, easy great. as well. Um, essentially two parts. You've got your head and then you've got your body. And we're just gonna kind of gently separate head from body here. Uh, there's no real easy way to do this. Yeah. So there we go. And then inside here, you'll see we've got a little bone that we can remove. Yeah. There it is. That's called the, the, the cuddle bone. See that? It's amazing. It's awesome. Wow. Wow, and on his head too. So some people keep these wings 
I have a tendency to pull them off. I don't know how you feel about that um, when we prep them. Yeah, for Fido Mesa, we're going to pull them and then we'll leave them for the grill. Yes, yeah, so you got to get the guts out. Uh, and then for the heads here, all we're going to do is just right above kind of the eyes here, we're just going to take the knife, just get a nice little cut. You'll see there's a little cart cartilage right here that just pops right out. And then these bad boys are just going to put right into our buttermilk solution, and that's going to be part of what we use to fry. So we're going to just take our knife, make a couple of easy cuts through. This is really beautiful stuff. This is super fresh. So fresh. Um, and then these are beans. This is kind of what everybody's familiar with. These are like you know little calamari rings that you see. Same thing here. We're just going to pop these right into our little brine solution. For this application, we're going to leave this whole just like that. That's what's going to go on the grill. You'll see that comes out nice and beautiful. Yeah, it's really cool how they start kind of white, like we had them in the ice for a while. But right when he cuts them up, all the color of the skin comes back. That's interesting. I wonder yeah. why that is. go. So this is our Frito Misto. We have the squid that you caught today and then we also have um, some fried vegetables in there. A little bit different than a classic fried calamari. So we've got lemons, artichokes, carrots, um, jalapenos and then also um, some shrimp in there as well. And then we have a classic tartar sauce and um, cocktail sauce as well. So enjoy. Yeah, you got it. All right, this looks good. Crunchy legs. I'm not even gonna try it with any sauce first. It's like tender, it's not like chewy. Yeah, it's not chewy at all, huh? Now you know what I feel like after fishing all day, your first real meal. Boy, it tastes so good. Just a quarter mile from here, going for salmon at Pier 52. This place is just a couple blocks away, so it's really cool. I'll be back here for sure. But this is the grilled squid. It almost has a texture of like bacon fat a little bit. Like that good, kind of crispy, soft bacon fat. And you saw how easy that was too. Just on the grill, press down. Mm. So this is one of the last dishes that we're gonna have with the squid that we caught today. This is the chipino. Very similar to the grilled squid because like crunchy but tender. Dude, that is so bomb. Soft shell crab BLT. The bread is soft. A lot of times the bread is hard, but this thing. That's really good. Get this if you come here. Soft shell crab BLT. Big plate of oyster shells. Ate a lot of food. We're gonna finish it off with this butter cake. Big thanks to Mission Rock in San Francisco. Nick, Dave, Pete, you guys are amazing. Thank you for preparing, preparing this and allowing my wife and I to come in here and try this food. If you guys are ever in the area, Mission Rock, San Francisco. Uh, next time I go out for a squid, I'm gonna turn those into a halibut. Turn that into a halibut next time. So. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it.